In this lesson, we're going to look at something called interval notation. And this is just a compact way of showing what numbers should be shaded without actually drawing the graph. So we'll still draw the graph for practice, but this is uh, just kind of a way that you can avoid drawing if you need to. Because, of course, graphs are hard to type on a typewriter or a computer. So this is easier to do. So interval notation is just a way to describe a range of numbers. There will be two numbers separated by a comma in either brackets or parentheses, possibly both. And what we always do is we give the left number first and then the right number. So for intervals that extend forever to the left or forever to the right, we will use either negative infinity or positive infinity. Infinity symbol looks like a sideways 8 and we will call the left end of the line negative infinity and the right end positive infinity. And you'll see when we get going here this is pretty easy to use. So the sideways 8 stands for infinity. It just means something that goes on forever. So if we were to think about a number line like this the number line continues forever to the right, so we would say that it goes toward infinity because it continues forever. It also continues forever to the left, but the, the left end is all negative numbers, so we would say that it tends toward negative infinity or it goes toward negative infinity. So we're going to practice by writing the interval notation for each of these inequalities. Here is x is greater than 3. Now we know that the graph looks like this. We've already talked about how to graph these things. So what I would say here is that the interval notation, the, the shading starts at 3 and it goes toward positive infinity. So we write from 3 to infinity. And notice that because I have parentheses on my graph, I have parentheses on my interval. And the shading continues to the right forever, so it goes toward infinity. Now let's do x is greater than or equal to negative 7, and we'll look at the graph again. And now the interval notation starts, the shading starts at negative 7, so I put bracket negative 7, and it goes toward infinity, so I put comma infinity. And see, this interval is just a way of describing what numbers are being shaded here in the picture. So the negative 7 is where it starts being shaded, and the infinity is where the shading ends. Notice that uh, even though I had a bracket on my negative 7 here, I can't have a bracket on my parentheses. It's okay for the left side or, you know, for one side to have a bracket and the other side to have a parenthesis because the infinity symbol is not really a number that you can reach. It's actually just an idea. It's something that we go toward, not something that we ever achieve. It's a lot like tomorrow. Tomorrow's always out there. Remember the song from Annie? The, you know, tomorrow you're always a day away. Infinity is like that. Infinity is always past what we can reach. So since we can't actually get to it, we can't actually put a bracket on it. So infinity symbol always gets a parenthesis. Now let's practice again. We'll write each inequality in interval notation. So here is x is greater than or equal to 10 thirds. We will draw our number line with the 10 thirds on it. And now I want to shade to the right and put a bracket. Okay, so once you see the number line, it's very easy to come up with the interval. The shading starts at 10 thirds. So I say bracket 10 thirds, and it goes toward infinity. So then comma infinity, parenthesis. Now let's do x is less than or equal to negative 6. So here's our number line. We will shade to the left. And we have the bracket because of the or equal to line. 
Now this time, because the line starts at neg the shading starts at the left end of the line, remember our interval has to go from the left to the right. Interval is always left number, right number. So on the left, the number is negative infinity. And on the right, it stops at negative 6. And there's a bracket there, so I have a bracket on my interval. So can you see that, like, the infinity is always on the end that the arrow is on. So this is from 10 thirds to infinity. This is from negative infinity to negative 6. So if you see the arrowhead, that's where you put your infinity. If it's on the left end, it's negative infinity. If it's on the right end, it's positive infinity. Here is x is less than negative 4. If you shade your number line, you'll shade to the left. You'll have a parenthesis here. So the, uh, the interval will be from negative infinity to negative 4. Parenthesis. And here is x is greater than 3 fourths. So we will shade to the right of 3 fourths. We have a parenthesis. And then our interval goes from 3 fourths to infinity. Parenthesis 3 fourths comma infinity.